Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be multiplying by groups of 10. Whoa, Mr. Woods, what does that mean? Well, we're going to take a number and we're going to multiply it by 10. That sounds really hard, but in reality, it's kind of easy, but we're going to mix it up here a little bit. So let's so take a look. If we have a problem where it's 20 times 6, we have groups of 10 times 6. Well, we just say, well, what's 2 times 6? Well, it's actually 2 tens times 6. But let's take a look at it as 2 times 6. So 2 times 6 times 10. Well, 2 times 6 is 12 times 10 is 120. See how what we did is we just took that number and put a zero at the end. That's a lot of the things that we do with, with uh, multiplying by groups of 10. Let's take a look at some other things. So, now I showed you 20 times 6, but what about you know, 2 times 60? That's 2 times 6 tens. Same thing. 2 times 6, 2 times 6 times 10. Doesn't matter how you have it broken up, it's still going to be the same way. So that's still going to be 120 because 2 times 6 is 12 times 10, put a 0 at the end, 120. Now, when we get up into something else where it's like, let's say 3 times 80, you're going, oh no, wait a minute, what is that? Well, same thing. Treat it as if it's 3 times 8 times 10. So 3 times 8 times 10. When you do it that way, it makes it so that we're moving that, removing that 0 out of the problem. So 3 times 8, you should know that by now, is 24 times 10, and that equals 240. See how easy this is? So now, what happens if we have something like, say, 14 times 70? Uh-oh. But wait, there's a solution. Because we could look at this and say that, well, that's 2 times 7 times 7 times 10. How'd I get that? These are facts. These are facts. I can take this down even further. But I think we can work with this, because think about this. So this is 7 times 7. You know your double. 7 times 7 is 49. So we have 49, and that's 2 times 49 times 10. Well, let's make that 2 times 50 instead. So if we look at it that way, 2 times 50 minus 2, because we had that extra 1 there. So 2 times 50 is 100, and that makes it 98 times 10, and that is equal to 980. You see how I broke it up, I made it simple, I made, in, ex in essence, I made uh, that 49 into a 10 times 5. So, uh, and then we have to, of course, we have to subtract that 2, that extra 2 there. So, let's keep it simple. Don't get frustrated. Let's make it so that you can understand it and write down the correct answer. Okay, so now, you're going, well, Mr. Woods, that's just crazy talk, you know, um, I can do this, but what happens when you have uh, multiplying a larger number by a group of 10? Let's say, for example, 124 times 20. Oh, no, no, no. Now you're just, oh, no, no, no. So, what we can do is we can say, well, wait a minute, what is this? How can we do that? So, uh, let's see here. So that could be 100 times 20, okay, plus 20 times 20, plus, uh, I'm going to say plus here again, so plus 4 times 20. Let's do all that quickly. So again, if we're looking at that as 2 times 100, that's 200, plus another zero, that's equals to 2,000, okay? 
And then we have 20 times 20. What's 2 times 2? It's 4. And we add two zeros. So if it's 2 times 20, that's 40, plus times another 10, we're looking at 400. Oh, hold on a second. I made a mistake. I want to keep my ones and hundreds and thousands all lined up. It makes it so much easier when I'm doing all this stuff here. And then, let's see here, 4 times 20, again, that's 2 tens, so it's 2 times 4 is 8, times 10 is 80. Add all of that up, and we get 0, 8, 4, 2,480. See how we're thinking smart, we're breaking it down, we're getting um, partial products, and then we're adding it up. Break down your multiplication problems to make it easy for you. Eventually, you're going to be able to do it much faster and more easier rather than breaking it down all like this. Me, uh, you know, I probably could have also done it. Let's take a look at this. It's 2, 124 times 20. There's an easier way. Let's take a look at this. So we have 124 times 20. Hmm. What we could have done is just said 124 times 2 times 10. 124 times 2, that's just doubling it. So I'm, I'm looking at this going, well, what's double of 124? Well, here we go. That's going to be an 8. That's going to be a 4. 248 times 10, and that equals 2,480, because I'm adding that 0 to the end. Multiple strategies. Think about it. Do what's best for you. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. And math fluency replaces math anxiety.